Hello and welcome to Mr. Bourne's Shaving Experiences. Today I shall be using um, my Edward Jagger safety razor, which I've already loaded in my Wilkerson sword blade classic. I shall be using Taylor of Old Bond Street shaving cream, sandalwood, um, Nivea for men, sensitive, aftershave balm, and witch hazel. And uh, after shave, we'll leave that till last. Right. So, I've already had my shaving brush soaking for about 10 minutes. And it's a Wilkinson sword. Best of British one. And this is a Christmas gift. So as I say, I've already had it soaking. Some uh, shaving cream. Load it up. Hope I find you're okay. Good. And whatever you had for your Sunday dinner today. Oh, bacon sandwiches. Oh, very nice. Ah, I've had uh, pizza today. Pizza and chips. Really nice. Enjoyed it. Made it home by my lovely wife. So as you can see, I'm beating the uh, shaving cream up. Because I'm beating an egg. Nice and fluffy. Hmm? <laughs> Keep adding water if it looks a bit dry. And it windy today. We've had a repeat of Storm Doris. Oh, uh, as, as promised, one of my friends would like to be in the uh, video today. It's my uh, pet dog. <coughs> yeah, I'm coming for you. <coughs> He's here now, look. Yeah, is it hello? No. It's my friend Bill. Hello oh, Bill. Uh, this is uh it's my pet dog. You, you go back home now. Okay, yeah. You can go in the box now. Why? Because you've been a naughty boy. A gawky goy? No, not a naughty goy, a naughty boy. I'll come out later, alright. Hey, he's come out later. Alright. There we go. Right, a big shout out to uh, Joe Brywood of Chicago. Check out his videos, Kevin Shaves also, and um, All H Films. Oh, and a big hello and welcome to Mr. Dave Barks. You can see, got a nice foam there. Nice and peaked. Right, some people like it a little bit wetter or a little bit thicker. It's entirely up to you. Alright, I've already washed my face and I've used Witch Hazel face scrub from Tesco, Widow Tesco. So I shall uh, rinse my face now. Excuse me. Right, excuse <laughs> <Give> me. <clears throat> so now time to apply the foam. Paint it on first, and then I shall massage that into the skin. Mr. Dave Blocks was asking a comment on a uh, forum on Facebook called Big Shaves, and it was on about he had very tough bristles. And uh, the blades he was using wasn't really cutting him very well. Some people advised him to uh, get a sample pack of blades and try different ones. But you need good preparation. You need to have cleaned your face well beforehand. And uh, preferably that's why I use a face scrub. Mm -hmm. And also, when you put your shaving foam on, put your first layer on, like I did, and then massage it in. And what that does is it helps break the oils down that are remaining on the hairs 
and get them ready for shaving. So that it uh, strips the oils from the face here and makes them brittle and stand upright because otherwise your hair will be soft and limp and the blades are more likely to cut the, the hair off at an angle and cause more irritation i.e. your hair will be causing to grow into the skin in growing hair and that's what a big no no you want to avoid that as much as you can so the hair will be nice and stiff ready to absorb water that's already in the shaving foam and what you've already put on so here we go first pass and we're shaving down across the grain um, with the grain <laughs> a nice short stroke using no pressure at all if you use pressure you're more likely to have an accident and cut yourself so be wary of that I'm using a brand new Wilkerson blade it's a blade that uh, is readily available got these from Boots the chemist if you're not from England <coughs> are a big chain store of Boots and uh, they sell nearly everything under the sun you can imagine but they sell a really good range of shaving products. And good feedback. So I'll rinse that off, the blade. Now I'll do it. Now some people like to rinse this all off so you've got no soap on and then reapply the soap. But I like to just wet my hand and rub the soap which remaining into the skin again so you're letting the properties of the soap do its trick then I shall uh, reapply the shaving foam you know, I was watching a video which I posted on uh, YouTube and it was about people that had lived over a hundred years of age and uh, it showed her a map of the world where people live the longest and it seems that people that live in big cities and that where there's pollution they tend to live into their 80s maximum but people that live in the countryside they live to the 90s but the real big ones are the ones that live by the seaside or, and um, eat a lot of fish and of course fish is full of omega-6 and 9 and all that malarkey so I've made a start um, I've started with fish fingers yes <clears throat> but you've got everything haven't you? you've got the bread but, uh, batter batter bread crumbs and uh, fish that's just me around right here we go this time I'm going across the green so you've had a good week good So we're going across the grain now. Oops, excuse me. Nice blades these are. Some people ask questions that how long should you get a blade last? How many shaves can you get out of it? Well mostly I go for three maximum. Depending on quality of blade. And uh, these Wilkerson, they're that cheap, you can use them once, chuck them away. In fact, even the more expensive blades, and they're in that many, really expensive, you can afford to use them once and chuck them away. And it still works out cheaper than having a cartridge razor, which can be anything upwards of, you know, so we're going on for 20 quid for a, a set of five. 
and the quality of these blades far different, sharper. Well, then again, it's the cheapness of it. We can't go wrong. Right, last pass, third pass, and I shall be uh, a bit of water. Now. I should be going against the grain this time. What brush this is? I think it's the synthetic brush. I don't know it is. But it's good quality. Some people get hung up on well, what type of badger hair or what type of boar hair. These, I think, I don't know how much this one was, but less than a fiver. But I think we bring the ordinary version, the black one, a couple of pounds. And they're good quality. No, clean them out well after, let them air dry, so you don't get mould on them. And they should last you a few years, many years in fact. Like anything else, some people like to spend X amount of money on things, don't they? They think by spending more money, they're going to get better value. It ain't always the, the case. I'm going to do the neck there. We'll sort that out. And also, you'll hear a lot of people say VBS uh, shave, baby book smooth. Right, I'm going to be using a um, Stipic pen, Stiptic. And this is alum, and what it'll do is uh, stop the bleeding. So, hold that on. It in and let that sit for a little bit while I finish my shaving off. Yes, as I was saying, um, what were I saying? Ah, some people get um, hung up on having a, a BBS shave, baby butt smooth. The trouble with that is when you're new to this, if you try and get a baby butt smooth close shave you can end up getting soreness because you've gone over the skin too much so build up gradually just start with one pass if you want two passes whatever you feel comfortable with good audio feedback what that means is you're listening for the sound of the blade passing over the hair and it makes a scraping sound So you know you've got your angle right of your blade and because um, that's another thing a cartridge you know, idiot proof so you can use um, flat to the face any angle with one of these razors your angle I don't know where it is 30 40 degrees you've got to get that right against the skin and the way of telling that is that when it goes over the whiskers, you can hear the cutting sound, the scraping sound. Right, now I shall rinse off and feel for any pickups. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. <coughs> quick feel, just tell me it's quick feel, and that I think is about it. Maybe a little bit under the chin. So, apply a bit more soap. Never go over your skin dry, especially if you've rinsed your face because you're more likely to get irritation. The soap is there for a reason. Right. You can hear that. Pick that up on microphone. 
and rinse as well as much as you can. Right. There we are, just under that bit there. Some people, some men have a lot of trouble, and people even. On the Adam's apple area, that could be a bit sensitive because you'd, your hair can grow in different directions on different parts of your face. So you have to learn which direction your face hair grows, which is called mapping. Majority, not everybody's hair grows straight down on the face and on the neck. So when you pass your hand over and you've got some stubble, if it feels smoothish, but then when you go in opposite direction, you can feel resistance and it feels rough. And then the smoothness is which way it grows. So therefore, if my hair face hair is growing that way, and I put my hands over that way, it'll feel smooth. But if I put my hands over that way, it'll feel rough. So through practice, trial and error, you'll get to know which way your face hair grows. I know I just said don't go over the dry skin without soap on but this soap's good quality Taylor of Old Bond Street and there's still plenty of slickness left so I'm safe in knowledge I can go over without causing any cuts well that's the uh, experience right I rinse off, then it's time for the head shave. Right. Dry off. Hello, how are you? With it. Right now, head face, head, head face, <laughs> head shave. So, We'll wet the whiskers on the head. Whiskers on the head. That's it. We put the lather again. size of soap and that's another thing you don't have to spend mega bucks on artists and soaps oh that's nice that is oh you ready you want it doing do you right, i'll just get this done and then uh, my friend wants his head doing You ready? Right. Rinse my hands off. Yeah, wait then. Yeah, I'm getting you out of the box now. Okay, alright, okay. Alright, yeah, it's coming. Right. Are you ready for your head massage? Yeah. Right. You like that? Is that nice? He says he likes it. Is that alright then? Yes. Yeah. Ah, put the money in the box, okay? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's enjoyed that. Right. Reapply to Ed. You don't have to be mad in this house, really. Right. The first pass, same as the facial hair down with the grain mm. being really careful with this being a brand new blade more likely to cut yourself if you're not careful so 
So, inside of the head now. Now I find it best to do little short strokes when I'm doing my head rather than do great big long strokes. And I can feel already that's took quite a significant amount of hair off. <laughs> Pay attention not to go over it too hard, harshly. So you're going to get spots on your head and your skin. And mostly when you have a cut, that's what you've done, you've took the head off it. So, just a bit of caution. You don't need to press on too hard. Now move over to the other side. I'm driving down the road the other day and uh, with this high wind had a tree a bit of tree branch. Well it looked like a tree to me. Hit my windscreen. Luckily I'm only doing 50. Well it cramped me so. <laughs> The people that's had damage done in these high winds, I hope you get it sorted out. And some people have been left without power. And you see that stipic pen, put it on that cut and it's healed it up. So they are worth getting. Really good things. Right. Now Rinse my blade, make sure I've got no hair stuck in and uh, soap, residue. Then I shall wet my hand and go over my head. And what that's doing is helping spread the residue of soap and I can feel bits that I've missed. And now I shall go for a second pass. That's one thing with these cheaper brushes, the hairs do tend to come out a lot easier. But, you know, it still serves its purpose. You still use it. And if you don't want to use a shaving brush, you could use your hand. Oh, there we go. You see, that's plenty thick enough. I've got a cup somewhere. Yeah, we're right. Alright. Now we're going across the grain. I've heard now some ladies are shaving the face with a wet um, wet shaving. Because they've noticed men that uh, use this kind of shaving with a double-edged safety razor have very good skin because what you're doing is you're exfoliating your skin every time and therefore you get really good skin and if you miss this, here's this and goes into the bathroom and nicks your razor, you know why Over a spot on back of my head. Oh, let's sort that out. And start the blade again.
You just concentrate and we're going to make quiet. Rinse in. So rinse off with a wet hand. And one more pass should do it. The only soap I've really had a trouble with is Wilkerson's own soap in the blue puck, in the blue bowl thing, what do you call the soap puck? Very difficult to lather up. And some people can add glycerin to it to enable it to lather up. I didn't get on with that, but palm olive, that's really good soap. Arco, Taylor Road Bond Street. Palm olive do a cream. Yeah, this cream, green palm olive, and also they do a little shaving stick, soap stick, and the soap stick. Yeah, that's right, cheap. About fifty p. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be expensive. You can use razors from Boots. They own make. I think the Wilkerson's blades, yeah, razors, made for them by two boots. And they're just a few pounds. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be mega bucks. And if you get into um, straight razor, cutthroat, that's like saying it could be mega bucks to get one. Expensive, very expensive. Or you can get what's called a shavette for under 20 quid, which you put a uh, safety razor blade into. And some have a, a proper design blade for a shavette. Oh, watch my eyebrow out. I've definitely gone over a spot there. Yeah, I can see it there, look you. <laughs> oh dear. Not saying we've got to have a bit of blood. My mum says I'm bleeding. Sometimes it's unavoidable. No matter how much uh, you try, you end up getting a cut. It's just one of the facts of having a shave. If you can remember your dad or your granddad coming out of the bathroom, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, you got bits of wet tape and tissue paper all over his face. Well, this is the same. Well, now you don't use tissue paper, you use your star bit pen. Oh dear, alright. So, squeeze the residue out. Residue. Mm -hmm. Put that onto the toad head. Feeling where I've missed. The bits there. And these are the touch up bits. Needles and jelly spoons. Time for the touch ups. Taking close attention and carefulness around the old ears. Don't want to bang off. I'm helping the uh, guys tonight at the kickboxing club. I'm helping them take the grades, the next belt. And 
training to be an instructor in it. I do like teaching different things. That's one of the reasons why I took up this YouTube channel. As it says, Mr. Bond's experiences. So through my experiences, hopefully somebody that's starting the shaving journey, young and old, can learn from it. Obviously you can't get everything right. And you're going to make mistakes, but that's all part of life, isn't it? And if you join a shaving group on Facebook or any social media, you'll find they're very friendly. And uh, they'll give you loads of help. There's some very knowledgeable people out there. A lot more knowledge than what I have. And the stuff I've picked up is only through watching videos online. Well, and also, I had a book for Christmas, The Art of Shaving. A book that was wrote in 1905 by an unknown author, artist. But that was mainly concentrating on uh, cutthroat razors. And I think safety razors would just about come in by Mr. Gillette. <laughs> but the principles of that, of how to apply the face cream, how to map your face out, the hair growth, um, what else is it? Oh, after, after the shave, how you look after your skin after. All them principles have not really changed over this, well, over 100 years. And it's like anything in life, if you get the basics right, preparation, offset technique, and get the basics right, you'll not go far wrong. And practice makes perfect. Ah, that's enough waffling. That, uh, I think, ladies and jelly spoons, is it. So now I'm going to rinse off. And, uh, we shall go to the, uh, post shave. Uh, pre yeah, post. Post is after, isn't it? I don't know. I should be back in a minute. Right, this is the bit I don't like, <laughs> cold water. So the hot water, well, hot as you can stand, and it closes some brain cells as well, let me tell you. Right, be brave Mr. Bourne. Here we go. <gasps> Sweet child <of> mine. <laughs> oh, God, that's cold. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus. Oh, that's certainly good. Waking you up. <clears throat> Apparently, according to this book, it is uh, bracing the art of being a man. That was another one I got. Having a cold bath or shower. <laughs> Not for me. Right, last one. <laughs> Sweet mother of mercy. <laughs> God, that's cute, that is. God, got brain free. Hello, where are you? Where is it? I know you're there, are you? Mm, hello, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, <clears throat> right, I should be putting on Essence of a Witch Called Hazel, or to the layman, Witch Hazel. Now, this comes in various uh, prices. This is a Bob Cheapo Stando one from the chemist at Tesco, good old Tesco. And you can get Thayer's. Which not many places in England sell, so you'd really get it off Amazon or eBay. That's in. Allow that to dry. Then we shall be putting on. Are you ready for this? Ooh, brute for men. <laughs> Squash it all over. <clears throat> right. A good dollar for this on. Now this will sting a little bit. Cool dear. Come down. You want some do you? Come on then. There you go. Not a lot. Here you. 
Well done, you'll do. Right. Now that's evaporating. We should be using post shave after barn. Post shave. Post shave barn, yes. Nibia for men, sensitive. <laughs> With zero alcohol. Zero alcohol. Right. You don't need a lot of this. Bit it down and. And apply that to your face, neck, and your head. If you've shaved your head. Right, ladles and jelly spoons. That concludes Mr. Bones Sunday shaving experiences. So, if you've liked the video, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and any questions you'd like to ask, leave a comment in the comment section. And um, as my grandma used to say, good night, God bless, think of me when they're undressed. If they can't be good, be careful, and if they can't be careful, get a brown. Goodbye and good night. <laughs>